I hope you guys are all having a problem solving day. Easy auto fix here and today we're going to learn symptoms of a bad brake master cylinder. The purpose of the master cylinder is to distribute brake fluid to each wheel when pressing down on the brake pedal. This allows the calipers or wheel cylinders to compress the brake material to stop the wheels. The location will usually be in the engine compartment on the driver's side underneath the reservoir connected to the brake booster. The first symptom is a brake fluid leak. External leaks could be coming from the grommets between the reservoir and the body, or from the seal inside the master cylinder that's closest to the brake booster. Internal leaks could also occur if the seals inside are torn, preventing the master cylinder from holding pressure when the brakes are applied. The second symptom is fluid contamination. If you notice your fluid is darker than usual, it could be from the moisture or debris entering through the torn seals causing it to get to that point. The third symptom is a spongy brake pedal. Having a leak coming from the grommets can let fluid escape and bring air inside the system. Air inside the brake system is what can cause a spongy brake pedal. The fourth symptom is the pedal sinks to the floor. This could be caused by torn seals inside the master cylinder preventing the system from holding fluid pressure. As the fluid passes through the defective seals, you'll feel the pedal sinking. The fifth symptom is a longer braking distance. You'll press down on the brake pedal only to realize that your car is not stopping as fast as it used to. The reason for this could be due to the leaks inside the master cylinder. Since the seals aren't able to hold the fluid pressure inside the braking system, the master cylinder won't be able to deliver the correct amount of hydraulic force needed to compress the brakes on the rotors or drums to stop the car. Good deal. I appreciate all of you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next one.